Hi everybody! So today we're going to have a look at adaptations or the changing of one original text into something new. So the goals for today are to understand what an adaptation is and at the end of this you should be able to define that for me. So you should be able to write down or tell me what an adaptation is and to be able to show me that you understand the reasons why we take old texts and we use them or adapt them to make new ones. So firstly, what is an adaptation? An adaptation occurs when one text or an original text is taken and reimagined to create a new one. So the term reimagined is a, a really good term to use. So it's how someone can use their imagination to change an old text, turn it into a new text so that it has new meaning for people. It can be a retelling of a story so that it's quite similar to the original or quite different using similar characters or storylines. And if you look down here, we've got things like Little Red Riding Hood, which has been adapted into all sorts of different films. All right. Now you've got Little Red Riding Hood here, which was a really scary film. Hoodwinked, which most of you might know, which takes the story of Little Red Riding Hood and makes it really modern as well as Shrek, which uses aspects of the wolf who goes and hides in Shrek's bed at some point, I think. Um, so no adaptation can ever be completely true to the original. As we see with these ones, some of them take the storyline and they change it to make it more modern. Um, some of them try to retell the story quite closely to what the old one is, all right? But it's still that idea of taking an older story and turning it into something new. Adaptations are important, all right, so here we are, because they take older texts and rework them to present themes and ideas that are relevant to new audiences. So things that are important to us, because some old stories don't make sense to us in our own world, they have to get taken and they have to get changed, all right? And that's what an adaptation does. They can make an original story more interesting, while knowing about the original text can often take an adaptation and the adaptation can be more interesting because we know about the original text. All right, so let's have a look at some. The biggest one at the moment, I think anyway, is Cinderella. So we've got the original Grimm story up here, all right, which was written in the 1800s. And from that story, um, we had a whole bunch of other um, sort of oral stories before. So the Grimm's brothers went and collected all these stories and turned it into Cinderella which later got adapted by Disney, all right, to make it this really pretty, lovely um, cartoon that everyone knows, which then got changed into all sorts of other motion pictures. So we've got Ever After Here, Ella Enchanted, Cinderella Story, and so on until we get eventually to Cinderella at the end, which is quite similar to this one here because they're both made by Disney. All of these are adaptations. Some of them are quite similar, so these two are quite similar. The original Cinderella story wasn't very nice at all. It was pretty um, grim. And so it's quite different to all of these ones. But they still have the same character or they still have very similar storylines. And so that means they're an adaptation. And as they go along, every one of them gets more interesting for a modern audience because it's more relevant to us than, say, this original one. All right, another one for you is... Thor, okay? Really famous Norse legend. So he started off as a Norwegian god, god of thunder, and he had his hammer and he was god of lightning and all those things. And here he started in the 1800s. They started turning him into, whoops, paintings, okay? So he made it, had a bit of a resurgence in the 1800s. And then he became in the 50s, this and 60s, this cartoon character later becoming a TV character. So you can see that technology is changing. So we've got a, um, a comic strip here. Then he became a cartoon on TV. So he's becoming more relevant as technology is changing. And today we've got this um, great films with Mr. Hemsworth. OK, and now he's become part of the Avengers. So all of these retellings or adaptations of this one original story and they become more and more interesting with the special effects and stuff as they become more modern. But it still doesn't mean that the original wasn't a really good story because it is. All right. So why is it important to know about adaptations? 
because you're going to come across them all the time throughout English all the way through school and also because you come across them in everyday life as you just saw with Cinderella and Thor and some of those movies you guys would have seen. Adaptations are important because they allow us to transform old stories into new ones in order to teach new audiences important messages, often about the past and about our own world. Okay, so enjoy doing your sheet and that's it for today for adaptations. Bye!